Hey everybody, you know, <laughs> I was laughing in my mind, I'm laughing out loud now, right? Because I was like, uh, you know, what do I call the fuck this community? Like, you know, it's, in the past I would say, hey everybody, it's Robert from Possibility in Action. So I was like, hey, <laughs> so I should not have said that. Probably because uh, this is a public, not just our group type message. But I wanted to point out something, because here I am, right? I'm hanging out at the beach, just enjoying my time. And somebody was asking me about the whole idea of intentional living. And of course I go to fuck this, because fuck this is that mindset of, I'm going to make it work. I've had enough of complacency. I've had enough of fear. Now, of course, these things don't go away. We'll fall into complacency. We'll fall into fear. It's just part of human nature. You know, when, when my wife was diagnosed and we made a conscious decision together that cancer was not going to be the center of our lives, but we were going to use cancer to highlight the life we wanted to live, that's a fuck this moment. So why am I leaving this message? I'm laying here. I'm thinking, I do this stuff because I know what's possible when we get out of our own way. And a lot of people, we've had this conversation before, think it's about money. It is about mindset. It is about clarity. It is about understanding your vision. Now, that's what we're going to do in the group, right? But for those of you that are not in the group, what I want to leave you with is I want you to think about the idea of what is the vision for your life. And don't fall into, I want money, um, I want to travel, um, I want to grow a big business. Think about, is it simplicity? Is it experience? Is it love? Like, what is the underlying theme that you want in your life? You can understand that theme. You know, one of the things that I find amazing here in Italy is there are people that are waiters their whole life. And in America, we would be like, oh, you know, but they're like, my life isn't about what I do. My life is about my family and, and spending time with them. And so as a waiter, I don't bring work home. As a waiter, I get to meet interesting people who are traveling to Italy and learn a little bit about the world. I get time off in August and I get to spend time with my family or I'm studying. And so being a waiter allows me to study so then I can do something else. But it's that idea of we're not just our career and we're not just because a lot of times what, what happens is we feel we have to give everything. I want to help the world. Um, and in a way that makes me feel okay about, quote, being a little selfish because I want certain things. We're all allowed certain things. You're allowed certain things. So I want you to think about that vision. What is that vision? You know, people ask me, like there, are, and I've said this before, there are moments where I'll be like, okay, you know what, this next month, um, no going out, no doing this, no doing that. I'm going to eat pasta and beans and guanciale every day or salad. Um, and yeah, I'll lose weight or whatever, but you know, cause I'm already sort of a thin guy, but, um, but I have to worry about money this month, but yet I want the autonomy to do something like this in the summer. I want the ability to say no, if there's a client that I'm just like, you know what? I just don't get you. Um, sorry, you're not the personality I would work with. I want to be able to say no. And saying no to work, of course, means that I'm going to be thinking about money. But I know what's more important than money. This right now is more important. I'll worry about the money. I have to think about the money, of course. And you know what? If I have to go teach English again for a while, I'll teach English. That's what I want you to focus on. So if you're not part of the fuck this group, then here's something for you to think about. If you want to join the Fuck This group, uh, we start again in September, and that's what we're doing. I am bringing people through a journey of shedding the unnecessary, finding personal power, and personal power comes from certain 
realms, let's say. You know, personal power does come from vulnerability, for example. Personal power also does come from surrender and accepting some things. Um, but anyway, you know, we will talk about resilience. But we're do what we're doing is we're shedding, we're adding. It's like we're sculpting. And that's really what this is all about. Your life at the end of the day is yours to sculpt. But you have to understand what tools are at your disposable and what, uh, disposal, disposable, disposal, and what you want it to look like. Think about Michelangelo. All right, he saw David in the marble. I love that story. Everyone loves that story. There's a lot to that story. So, anyway, I'm leaving that with you. Okay. So, for the fuck this people, because I don't know what you call you. <laughs> so we're just going to call you the fuck this people. Um, I will see you in September. And I hope to see some new faces as well. Take care. Ciao.